This week on Text Nation TV, we've got updates galore. Uh, Nest. Seems like Waze is now into Google Maps. And Samsung, Samsung, Samsung. Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week, like I said, it's all sorts of updates that we've got going on. I want to talk about one of my favorites because, well, I just happened to pick it up here tonight. And uh, later this week, you might see an unboxing of this uh, said uh, device. What is this, Rusty? A pencil? No, it's a stylus, and it's the S Pen. Thank you very much. <laughs> the S Pen. <laughs> Yeah, I went through and I uh, have now upgraded from the Galaxy S3 to the new Galaxy Note 3, as you see here. Uh, larger screen, obviously. Uh, bigger phone all the way around. Uh, faux leather backing, blah, 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 all that. So that's my one update for me. Faux leather, huh? Yeah. Mm. It, yeah no stitch. cows died for this. <laughs> Uh, besides my updates, I wanted to hit you up with this. Google, uh, this last summer, uh, announced purchasing Waze, one of our favorite uh, GPS apps that we've talked about before on the show. Yeah, I've had it what, two years, three years. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had it going on four years. I think I've had it since pretty much they announced anything United States because they started out in Jerusalem. Yeah. And so they're now into the United States, and they've been there for quite a while. So I'm a big user I actually, they have a social side of it where you can play a game inside the app, and you used to be able to collect dots, but now that there's so many players, there's no more dots, pretty much, and uh, I used to be like 14th in the entire state. What are like, you now? Uh, like 75th, because <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, you know, driven around in a long time, so yep. uh, for those of you that know anything about it, Google has now started to implement those ways, uh, ideas into the Google Maps. You'll see it in some of your updates as they come along. Uh, what you're going to start seeing is traffic uh, being updated. The maps have look, been looking a lot more crisp, uh, uh, real, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> they've also updated the car icons and everything like that. And yeah. Also, the chatting, you know, if you see another Wazer, you can honk at them, yeah. virtually honk at them, you know, and things like that. So Definitely cool stuff that you'll be seeing up, coming up around the corner. So uh, what other updates have we seen uh, this past week, Alan? Well, Nest, uh, as we've talked about since Nest 1, and we got a, a Nest 1 video here and a Nest unboxing here. I hope Rusty can put those there and there where I pointed. <laughs> but as you know, uh, the Nest smart thermostat, I think everybody knows about that now. And yeah. probably they almost, loved your video, by the way. That video is uh, getting the numbers up there. Yeah, I recently rewatched it and I have no idea why. <laughs> but we love it. We... I actually lied in that video. I said that when I sell the house, I'm taking it with me. No, I left it there. It was a pretty good incentive. The young kid that bought it liked it, so, yeah, you know, let him have it. My new house, I put another one in, and the house after that, I'll put another one in. I mean, it's just going to keep going and going because it does what it said. It's a, a learning thermostat. It does save you money. We've, uh, I'd say, probably saved about 10%, 20% of our, you know, utility costs using that because it takes care of the temperature for us um, right I mean, like I said probably everybody has one because last year around Black Friday that was a pretty much a big ticket item it was for $149 I think yeah is what for the it was. original Nest one yeah and 229 I think for the second generation oh we got a caller yeah sorry got my notification still going so anyway <laughs> uh, tell us about the updates that they've got going on I, I know that uh, Nest is updating their software just as well yeah and if uh, you've seen that new update you've noticed on the uh, side they've got Nest Protect. Now if you don't know what Nest Protect is, Nest has decided to take another ugly thing that's in your house, your smoke detector. Yeah, because nobody ever likes those things. Exactly, and they decided to make it smarter as well. Doing that, they've um, created one to where, you know when you cook, and you cook a little too long? Yeah. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> that annoying... Uh, I've never done that, never. <laughs> yeah, neither, neither has my wife. That's what she uses as a kitchen timer. <laughs> That's horrible. Anyway. Yeah, she's not here. <laughs> and so, you know, you have to get the dish towel or whatever. Yeah, and, and wave it around. Wave stand it. it up on a chair. Hope you don't fall over exactly. and break your neck. <laughs> well, what their design is, they've taken the smoke detector. It looks a whole lot better. They made it look like a pretty much a 20-inch rim. Yeah. If you like that kind of thing. 
But now it'll give you an, a verbal alert. It'll say um, nest detects smoke. Right. And it'll show a blue light. And you go, okay, yeah, that's from my cooking. Yeah. And since it's got the motion sensor like on the nest, you just go one swipe. And that, nice. that turns it off. Now that's nice if you're next to it, but if you're in the kitchen cooking and then you walk away to the living room and then it goes off, you have to kind of come back in there and do this number here. So, Au contraire. <laughs> okay, so you can control it with the Nest app as well. Nice. And also after that, it's got a, another um, warning where it has a red light. Red light's fire. Right. Which it screams... Get out of the house now. <laughs> Have you tested that? Something like that. No, because I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, I, I'm on pre-order. I've got two arriving. They're supposed to be shipping. I got an email today saying that they're getting ready to be boxed up and shipped out. So right. expect another unboxing and maybe a, an installation video on that. But uh, also with that, though, if you have multiple nests in the house, they talk to each other. Okay, so if one's so going off. Say, say you set one in the kitchen and you set up one in the bedroom. Yeah. It detects fire in the kitchen. The one in the bedroom is going to tell you fire, fire detected kitchen. Nice. I like this. So, you know, it's going to tell you, which you have to get multiple nests to do that, but mm, yeah, it could save your life. Yeah. And it's 129 bucks, though. That's not bad for saving your life, I tell you what. So, if there's a fire, I'm going to grab that. <laughs> His nest thermostat. <laughs> Then maybe make, wake up my wife, and then we're getting out of there. But the thermostat's coming. Yeah. Me or her, one of us has to grab that thermostat. Hilarious. That's awesome. So it seems like Ness has got a lot of cool things coming up around the corner. Uh, we hope to see something from them. Maybe a CES coming up around the corner, too, so don't forget to stay well, tuned. I messaged, I messaged them, actually. Right. And they said they're not going to have a booth, but they'll be lurking around. Okay, so maybe we can uh, hook somebody up and uh, see if we can't nail down an interview, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, an update that we wanted to talk about to credit cards because everybody loves carrying around a simple one-time card. Uh, matter of fact, we talked about on this show, uh, what was it, a year ago? Uh, what was it? The, the, the thing, thing that I lost my money on. Geode. The geode. Yeah, you remember this thing right here? That's right. That, that was the geode by iCash. iCash, something or other, something like that. And I, I gone. I got the cash <laughs> and I gone. <laughs> yeah. I ran to Iraq. Yeah, that poor guy. He uh, uh, he's and, not poor. Yeah, exactly. This poor guy. Oh yeah. Lost out one hundred and seventy dollars, one hundred eighty dollars, whatever it was, because I actually bought one for my mother for her iPhone. But that thing was so cool. Yeah. The idea was you carry one card and you're done. You swipe everything into the card and you're good to go. Yeah. So that idea kind of got carried over into a new product by a company called. Coin, and what they're doing is they're giving you what looks like a Visa black card almost. Mm -hmm. It makes you look like you are super high-end Mr. It and you've made it. And what they've done is they've added an LCD screen that's on the side that can tell you just minimal details. Bank card, uh, credit card, gas card, whatever card that you want to call it, and you can cycle through cards. And the cool thing about it is because that magnetic stripe is, you know, changeable, you can go through and swipe, and you've got to figure out, well, how in the world does this work? And if you watch the videos that I'm showing you right there, the guy's talking about how you just swipe it on the bottom of the swiper on your phone, whether I think it's Android so he, and iOS. He basically took a square right. and made it his own um, skimmer. Right. And then he went through and now programs it into the phone over low, po uh, low power Bluetooth so that it goes automatically to the card. Mm -hmm. And then now the, the magnetic stripe on the back of this device actually can, you know, give out the information from your card as if it were your card. So it's kind of cool. Um, there were some security questions that, you know, even Danielle and you and I had talked about, mm -hmm. you know, what about if someone makes off with the card? And they thought about that, and they're like, well, if you make it past a certain distance, your card, you know, doesn't get connected because it stays to your phone via that low-power Bluetooth, and it starts, hey, you left your car. Hey, you left your car. What if you go to the bathroom? I've got one of those skimmers already. Right. I put it on my phone, download the app and then take a picture of your cards. 
Well, that's something that we talked about just beforehand, actually. Uh, we were trying to figure out maybe something that could be done is we've, you know, we've thought about hacking things and we've done some nefarious items, not really credit card nefarious. stealing. But, <laughs> but the idea is that, you know. Field testing is what we might do. We'll call it that. So <laughs> the idea, though, is that, yeah, someone could take one of these, buy one, let's say, and just for reasons unknown to me that this person is just mad at everybody because they're a server at Shoney's. I don't know anybody that works at Shoney's, so if you work at Shoney's, I'm sorry, but I'm just saying hmm. you're a server. And you buy one of these things, and you get your card from your you know, patron. Yeah. You take a picture, and you swipe the card, and you hand it back to them, and they never know the wiser. You now have their card information. You take your next one, your next one. The card actually holds up to eight devices, so you can hold up to eight credit cards within this one device. So you're only getting eight cards deep, but you find the right eight cards, you, you might be good for the rest. <laughs> so, yeah, and also, you know, credit card, other credit card readers from around, you know, around the world. You, can this magnetic stripe on this card adapt to all of it? You know, if I hand my server at Shoney's this card, he's going to look at me, look at the card, look at me, look back at the card, <laughs> and just flick it in my face and say, hey. I'm only making like four dollars. Wait, we're gonna show these. You gonna do this <laughs> futuristic card? Give me a real credit card. Yeah, exactly. So the idea. The, it's gonna tell me to jump in a lake. The overall idea is awesome. We think because it's it's basically basically taking a lot of cards that you own up to eight, putting it down into one. I like that idea. Yeah, it's a lot more convenient than Google Wallet of. Yeah. Having to take your goofy phone. Look how big they are now. What, hey, what is this you, a brick? <laughs> <laughs> it's skinny, it's light, and it works great. You hush. <laughs> I'm going to pay with my phone, crotch. <laughs> but anyway, so look, look out there. See what you think. I think it's a great idea. There are some security issues, as with everything is when it's brand new. I like so. the idea. I like, uh, I like the moving forward with it. I, what I want to see is NFC, wearable, a ring, a watch, something. Well, you saw the Bluetooth ring that we had talked about before that had your information on it that you could carry. I forget what all it was, but there was a Bluetooth ring, something like that, could carry information that was also NFC enabled yeah. that could, I think, unlock your phone, I think was what it was. And so, obviously, because it can unlock your phone, it can also do other things that's built in. If you yeah, do something this. else that runs on low-power Bluetooth that could also, you know, that, you know, it detects... I don't know if you can see that, but, you know, what, what this card has also, you know, if you leave it on the table, walk away, your phone, you know, detects it's a distance and buzzes and lets you know, hey, yeah. you left your card. So uh, that's something pretty cool that we want to see in the future. Also, one last thing that I wanted to kind of throw in before we get done with the show for this week. We're going to be kind of short uh, because we didn't have Danielle with us this evening, but she will be here for her episode later. But the Simple TV we talked about last year, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. uh, the little white, small white box that was another streaming device. Something cool that we saw that's kind of shown up in a couple uh, 2013 gift guides. Uh, they have now updated this device with dual tuners, being able to stream up to five people at once, uh, being able to now watch your shows on tablets instead of just your phones, uh, being able to record, I think, uh, depending on the hard drive size or whatever it is, record, and being able to spit it back out, like I said, to those five devices. Um, check it out. I think it's simple.tv is the website. You can check out all the full details there. Uh, it's just a small updated black box and it's really super cool. I guarantee you go check it out. It's going to be a neat little device if you haven't already gotten yourself a streaming box of some sort, whether it be the Roku, yeah. the Apple TV, Chromecast, Chromecast, yeah, the $35 Chromecast, which we, I don't think we have ever talked about on this show specifically, but the Chromecast is another awesome device that for $35 you can get, you know, your Mac or PC. Uh, HBO, HBO Go is coming to Chromecast, uh, by the way. You know, it's not, it's up there. You can't click on it yet, but it's up there. <laughs> so that's pretty much all we had this week. Nothing much under the uh, news realm. It was kind of a slow week. We just wanted to show you because we've got holidays coming around the corner, so there's probably going to be some gift buying guides that everyone else is talking about, so go check those out. We uh, particularly like a few from the uh, Geekbeat.tv folks, uh, John and Callie, go check those out as well. Yeah, wh whatever they tell you to buy it, buy it, because <laughs> they're actually real people who go out here and test these on the road, and they don't just 
sit behind a table and act like they've seen things and been places and talk about them. <laughs> they actually are out there I, I doing it. I, I'll, yeah. have a, I'll have a full review of this later because uh, it's, it's a great device. I play Ingress on it. So anyway, so that's all we had for this week. Make sure you follow us online in all the locations. I'll start us out. Make sure you subscribe and like this video on youtube.com slash TV. Uh, if you're still on there, facebook.com slash TV. We've got, you can follow us on Google Plus. It's gplus.to slash TV. The google.com slash plus TV is not there yet. I don't think they've allowed for it, but we'll make that work some point. Speaking of that, what do you think of the new comments? Comments would, would on Google Plus uh, is a um, new comment uh, comments on uh, like YouTube, like you see it now. The updated it, comments. Yeah. And what, what, what do you think of that? I haven't exactly messed with it just yet. I have not. I saw the news flash come up and said something about it. I've no seen idea. some complaints already. Yeah. It's the first week out of the box. Of course, there's going to be complaints. Well, Everything. Well, some people were complaining about how maybe this is uh, turning Google Plus into Facebook because they're starting to see a lot more of. Uh, Phishing and uh, you know spamming. And I like that. actually got spam botted uh, earlier this week. I had one guy come through and like everything I did for the last oh. week and a half. I saw that. That was a girl, wasn't it? What no, was that thing? it was. I don't know what it was. It literally plus one everything I had ever done for he, like he, maybe for forever. He, maybe he was just interested in you, Rusty. No, because it's called a fan. Uh, <laughs> you got to you got to embrace the fans. <laughs> anyway, where else can you follow us online? Uh, t Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. There you go. Where? Best. T W T R. <laughs> and don't forget, you can always check us out on our website, txtnation.tv. We've got more things coming up. We've got interviews planned throughout the rest of this year. We've even got some folks from London who share a name with us without the .tv, but turning it into a .com who have given us a call, and we'd like to schedule something with them again. So look forward to that in the future. We've got mobile not Mobile World Congress, but we've got CES coming up here in January. So make sure you stay tuned for well, that as well. Yeah, maybe we'll let us into Mobile exactly. World follow him on text uh, Follow him on Twitter as well. He's at Alan. Text Alan, sorry. Missed that. And <laughs> is this our first video? Uh, it must be. Rude. And at Rusty G. There it is. Thanks, guys, for watching. Stay subscribed. Keep watching. Keep sharing. Keep liking. And spread the word because we one day would love to be able to be on your TV across some tech network. May it be Revision 3 D Discovery Network, you know, whatever. Or just watch this on your smart TV. Go to YouTube and <laughs> we'll be right there. Sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys.